welcome back so for the month of may in honor of the little mermaid movie i am doing a disney princess layout and oh my gosh it turned out so cool so once again so for the cover because the little mermaid is literally coming out i decided to do um i cropped a photo of the poster with Halle Bailey and I tra uh, oh my goodness my words are still not working if you watched the April video you'll know that I'm recording these voiceovers back to back and I was having trouble speaking then I'm having trouble speaking now but I uh, trace and transferred that and then for my tracker my task tracker I'm doing a stained glass um uh, like photo of Cinderella's castle so originally I had always planned to do a Disney theme in June I didn't even realize that the Little Mermaid was coming out in June that just um, not June good god May it's May May is when this video is June is right now but this is from the past but anyways I didn't realize that it was coming out in May and I had been thinking about doing a Disney themed uh, journals for like months and specifically a stained glass Disney theme so I kind of incorporated that into this month um, I thought about making the cover with the Little Mermaid like stained glass how Cinderella's castle is and how my mood tracker is but I didn't feel like it. it was like a lot and I was like I don't know if it's gonna work out so I just did it how I did and I let the stained glass element speak through through the trackers and I let the cover how it was but oh it's so cool so I traced it with pen because I wanted the details to be like really sharp and crisp and I wanted them to pop and this is her she's under the water looking up at the surface of the other world and it's supposed to be dreamy I didn't know if I wanted to do the background of the Little Mermaid like make it look watery like how it is it's like an ombre water with a spotlight on her I didn't know if I wanted to do that or if I just wanted to color it all in or I wasn't sure and then I didn't know if I did do it how I would execute it so I fell back on my old favorite uh, the marker watercolor trick and then um, yeah and then while I was recording this I was watching the new or I guess it's not new it's new to me I new ish I think it came out last year the Peter Pan and Wendy movie um, it was okay it was okay it really like dark like the cinematography I get it was in England and stuff and it was but like it was so dark and there's like smog and blah 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 that like every time I see a period piece set in England it's always like dark and dirty looking uh except except for Bridgerton bright and colorful that one is um but it was fine it was cute I don't think I was the target audience. And even if I'm not the target audience, I feel like I should have enjoyed it still, but it was kind of boring in my opinion. But it did inspire me to want to read the book. So I got the Peter Pan and Wendy book, and I started reading it. I read like the first five pages. Like, it's mostly about how hot Wendy's mom was, which is such an interesting way to start the book. Okay, so this sticker thing see me cutting out here I thought it was one thought it was smaller I was like ooh, I want to get some like holographic like washi tape stickers and I thought that those were gonna be small like all the other stickers that I've used in the past I thought they were gonna be that sized they were not that sized the thing came in the mail and I was like, why is this package so big? I opened it up, and those the thing, it's like, 
like it's you can see it it was the size of the paint like it's huge and I was like oh my goodness um and I wasn't even entirely sure how I wanted to incorporate um these holographic stickers in um so I just was like I'm just gonna stick them all over the page is what ended up happening um but they look cool they're like there's four different patterns there's one that's like stained glassy looking which is the ones that I'm using here there's one that looks like little stars and it's like holographic stars and I can't remember what the other two look like off the top of my head um I just realized that I've been whispering for a really long time um and I'm gonna get loud and that's gonna throw off the audio when I edit it because I'm not going to go through and edit the audio. I'm just going to record this. But then we got the Little Mermaid. Oh, see, it happened. And I didn't even plan to do that. I just got excited, and that's what happened. Look at her tail. It's so pretty. I love using the color pencils to, like, blend things. I mean, I don't know a lot about blending, but I think it looks cool. Like I said before, I did my watercolor uh, marker trick. I hope you didn't just hear me like gulp just now, but if you did, ignore it. Um, and this is just me putting the finishing touches on the page. You've got my um, finance layout there. I condensed my goals layout, and then I have my revision tracker layout over there. I wanted to take up less space because I really wanted to make um, the Cinderella Castle stained glass tracker large. And so that's what I did, and I'm liking this layout better. I think condensing the goals one worked out because I don't think I needed that much space. Um, I've got a lot of goals, but they didn't need that much space. So then I wanted to do this cool stained glass flower for my mood and energy tracker, um, and I wanted to do it large. And you know, I could, I could have put it on the other page. Uh, or like switched out some things so that I would I could do my habit tracker the same but I just did this instead I was like I'm just gonna try it doing it horizontally I hated it I hate I hate I hated it it wasn't awful but I hated it um so I'm not gonna ever do that again uh yeah no I'm not doing that again horizontally as if um I will stick to the other way but the stained glass flower from the Beauty and the Beast was super cute um, and I was conflicted because I thought about doing multiple sets of colors so I thought of doing a set of colors for the flower so the flower would be flower colors and the leaves and stems so that those would be like shades of like green and blue and like the background a different color which is what this is what I am doing here, testing out different colors. But at the end, I was like, that's a lot. I don't have the space to like do all that. Um, I don't want to do all that. I'm just going to choose five colors and do it how I normally do. And we'll just let it be however it turns out. And for the most part, most of the flower part is red. I took out the leaves and I just made the leaves leaf colored. Um, and it's it's cute it's it is what it is uh i would probably if i were going to do it again i think i would break the flower up into smaller parts so that the colors were just the flower and like everything else could be cohesive um here it is the next day of me working on this and there's franklin franklin and tiny kept bothering me with love so as I was doing this and I was like oh I want to do a bunch of um, like Disney princesses on the last page and originally I was going to find like the cartoon uh, like cast of all the Disney princesses but then I was like you know what you know what I'm going to do all the um, black Disney princesses and I'm going to do those and I was like yes because um, it's black history month year round and so <laughs> so that's what I did so we've got Halle Bailey as Little Mermaid Ariel princess of the seas and then we've got her as Belle from when they did that Disney special which was really cute if you didn't watch it 
Um, we've got the one and only Brandy as Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. And then I couldn't find a picture of the voice actor of Tiana because that's who they based the uh, her look off was the voice actor. And I wanted them to all look humanoid, but I couldn't find one. And I am not a good enough artist to be able to like piece together different parts. Like it, so I just chose a cartoon one. Um, but I prefer her in the green dress um, when she's like the princess and everything is like, she's all happy and everything. So I used this sketch of her. And then I had another sketch that I used to draw her crown. Um, and I kind of just drew the outlines of everything and I colored everything in and it looked super cute. Um, I didn't have like a super detailed plan for how to do this. I kind of just was like a spur of the moment thing and then I went and printed everything out and brought it back. Um, but I think it worked out. And then at the bottom on Roots and Princesses, I chose a quote from each of the movies. Um, that was like an iconic quote or like a quote that I felt resonated with me, you know? Um, and then in my, I got my review section up there, my reflection log, my favorite of the week log, and then just filling in all the details and coloring everything. Um, I outlined everything in pen and again, I colored everything in with pencil, um, a little bit of marker, um, and I used these like this jar to outline it because I wanted to kind of, um, I just had no idea what I wanted to do in the background so I was like oh I'm just gonna do the watercolor marker thing just all over the background but I didn't want to mess up the picture so I made these like covers out of washi tape as you can see me doing with this uh, empty jar nacho jar because um, I love queso but anyway so that's what I did and then I just put colors all over the background it turned out okay it's not awful looking I put way too much um, green in there like to begin with so then like none of the other colors I used like really showed up like I should have just stuck with a lighter green because um, I wanted to do like one color from each so like Ariel I assigned her like the color blue because the ocean is blue and then Belle she's yellow and then Tiana is green, and then Cinderella, I didn't want to do blue a second time, um, and in the movie, there's a lot of, like, purples, if you've ever seen the Rogers and Hammerstein and Cinderella with Brandy, so I chose purple for her color, and I was gonna use those four colors to decorate the background, but again, I just used way too much green in that first one, and I used such a dark green, and then it kind of looks, like, muddy, and I... Uh, too much it was it was it fantastic um but it, it turned out okay and then I didn't know what to do so I just started doing stuff trying to like figure out how to make it look nicer um I played with putting borders around them but I was feeling kind of lazy and I didn't do it and I didn't know what type of borders I wanted to do and how I I was just going along for the ride finessing it just trying things out um and it doesn't look awful like it I just I think what really would have saved it was if that green was just not muddy like that um but it was it's like really it's a really muddy green and I am not a fan of it so then I decided to cut out a bunch of leftover pieces of the holographic stickers and put them in the spaces because it's transparent stickers uh, and I thought that might add something cute to it and that's just it is what it is I like the the idea when I got excited of doing the page of princesses I got really excited about it but the execution the execution of it could have been better it could it, 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 it could have been better it wasn't perfect um, if I had known further in advance that that's what I wanted it to do, maybe I would have fixed the layout a bit more. But I still think it's cute. And if I ever try it again, I will be 
but yeah, but like, like, like the cover looks amazing. The tracker page looks amazing. That's cute. I don't like the habit, the horizontal habit. Like, I hate that. I'm never doing that again. But the rose was cute. Um, and the princess page is cute. I think the stickers, the holographic stickers, saved it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.